What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? Is it just a game? Or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? Now we have to start all over. You almost feel like an outsider. The coaches are sympathetic, but they still have to coach, and you're not there. It's a dark place. Probably the darkest it's ever been. You're sad and down and out, and you ask yourself, why did this have to happen? It's in this moment that you find out who you really are and what you're really about. Most of us go through life with our brakes on, holding back, not giving all that we have, not sharing all of ourselves. Most of us go to our graves still holding on, rather than releasing it. Because of past experiences, past defeats, past pain, we look back, well, it didn't work out then. It probably won't work out now. Tonight, we were exposed for what we are right now. It means that what I did didn't work tonight. And I've got to separate what I do from who I am. I feel like we all have two battles or two enemies going on. One with the man across from you. The second is with the man inside of you. I think once you control the one inside of you, the one across from you really doesn't matter. And I think that's what we're all trying to do. You aren't handed anything. You earn everything, every single day, over and over again. You have to prove it. Get down. Keep your knees off the ground, just your hands and feet. There you go. A little bit left. Good effort. Keep coming. There you go. It's a good start. A little bit left. A little bit left. Good strength. That's it. Get the 20. You give me your best. You keep going. That's it. You got more in you than that. You gotta keep moving, let's keep moving, let's go. Don't quit till you got nothing left. There you go. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. That's it, you keep driving. Keep your knees off the ground. Keep driving. Very best. You're very best. You're very best. Keep moving. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Don't quit on me. Keep going. Keep driving. Keep, driving. keep your knees off the ground. That's it. You're very best. Don't quit on you. You're very bad. Keep driving. Keep driving. There you go. There you go. Keep driving. Keep your knees off the ground. Keep driving. Don't quit till you got nothing left. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep going. I want everything you got. Come on. Keep going. Don't quit on you. are very bad. Keep driving. Keep driving. There you go. There you go. He's heavy. I know he's heavy. If I had strength! Then you negotiate with your body to find more strength, but don't you give up on me. You keep going, you hear me? You keep going, you're doing good, you keep going. Do not quit on me. You keep going. It hurts. I know it hurts, you keep going. You keep going. It's all hard from here. 30 more steps. Keep going. Come on! Keep going! Burn. And let it burn! Burn. It's all hard! You keep going! Come on! I wish there was no suffering. 
and it's, it just comes with the job. Some of the greatest work comes from pain, or some great work comes from, from love, from loss. It's, it's like wanting to be the best at whatever you do. Never stop until you're the best. Like, I don't believe in doing anything halfway. I believe in going all the way. So, you never stop. When you see hard times and you get knocked down, get back up. And if you keep putting everything you got into it, and you keep getting back up when you get knocked down, it's almost impossible to fail. Push until it hurts. Or you, you sort of, you wanna be always pushing beyond what you're comfortable with. And um, you're sweating just a little bit all the time. And, and when that happens, when you're, when you're constantly pushing beyond what you think, what you know is possible, you're always sweating a little bit and you're always a little bit nervous, but that is the drug. And so when you're pushing like that and you're never really relaxed, then it always feels small. Anything you want, good, you can have. So claim it. Work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back. Pull someone else up. Aspire to make a difference. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. To get something you never had you have to do something you never did. Les Browns, a motivational speaker, he made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they said. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? Can't live my life based upon what other people think about me. So I can't concern myself too much with what other people think, you know, it's just not healthy. I, I don't think I'll con I could continue to do what I do if I was constantly worrying about what somebody thought about it. If you're going to be good at something, it does take a while. Just enjoy the getting there. You're going to get fed up, you're going to get disheartened, and people are going to tell you you're useless. Had all that. But what I can say, after about 15 or 20 years, I learned how to do something well. And I enjoyed that getting there as much as being there.
Now I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Fall forward. This is what I mean. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs. skills get better and better that hitter needs to be able to adapt and adjust the best thing that ever happened to me the best thing that ever happened to me is I hit rock bottom by far the best thing that ever happened to me is hitting rock bottom I think I think for men I have two boys and I'm gonna be in pain when I witness these guys go through this but I think the best thing that can happen to a man is a heartbreak, a very strong heartbreak, and a very big failure early on in business. And it happened to me early on in life, both heartbreak and business, it happened early on because I thought I knew it all. And it was a slap in the face to say, if Socrates says, the only thing I know is that I know nothing, if the greatest minds on their deathbed are saying things like that, what makes you and I think we know everything? If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. He said, but imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed the ghost of the ideas the dreams the abilities the talents given to you by life and that you for whatever reason you never acted on those ideas you never pursued that dream you never used those talents we never saw your leadership you never used your voice you never wrote that book and there they are standing around your bed looking at you with large angry eyes saying we came to you and only you could have given us life and now we must die with you forever So it's not how much you have, it's what you do with what you have. And we all have different gifts. Some money, some love, some patience, some the ability to touch people. But we all have it. Use it. Share it. That's what counts. And the question is, if you die today, what ideas? What dreams, what abilities, what talents, what gifts will die with you? Ask the question when you're thinking big, why not you? And answer it. I'm not just doing this motivational video, why not you? Why shouldn't you win? No, no, forget motivation, let's get logical. Why not you? Actually answer that. Why can't you be somebody that can do something in your business that's never been done before? Why not you? Answer it. So give the argument. Logically, here's why not me. Because I don't work hard enough. You can fix that, stop being lazy. Well, whatever, but because 
I'm not that good in sales. You can learn sales. So, okay, because I don't know much about the product. You can learn the product, but why not you? Uh, because no one in my family has been rich. So what? No one was in rich in Zuckerberg's family before he became who he is today. And nobody was in Jobs. Jobs' mom even gave him up for adoption. So many things go wrong when you're starting a company. And often I think people ask, you know, what mistakes uh, should you avoid making? And, you know, my answer to that question is don't even bother trying to avoid mistakes because you're going to make tons of mistakes, right? And the, the, um, the important thing is actually learning quickly from whatever mistakes you make and not giving up. Sometimes life's going to hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. I mean, there, there are things every single year of Facebook's existence that could have killed us or made it so that it, it just seemed like moving forward and making a lot of progress just seemed intractable. But you just kind of bounce back and you learn. And um, nothing is impossible. You just have to kind of keep running through the walls. So why not you? Make the argument. Why not you? Truly get into it. Then give the other argument. Why not you actually doing this? Why shouldn't you be? Why, why shouldn't you be the person and say, "I'm a very smart person. I love people. I actually like to make money to make a difference in the world. And you know what? I care for people. And I have some things I want to do. If I get money in my pocket, it'll be good. I'll do good with it. And I got a big heart. And I am talented. And da, 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 and I know the right people. Boom. That's why not you." Four years after starting, SpaceX rolled out its first rocket, an unmanned booster called the Falcon 1. Falcon has cleared the tower. But the first three test flights failed to reach orbit. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. Who convinced you can't do it? Who convinced you can't be part of a group of people? I watch so many guys on YouTube that, you know, are, are even some of these guys are considered experts by big magazines and they've written New York Times bestsellers and they say some shit like, oh, you know, entrepreneurs are born. Give me a damn break. Entrepreneurship can be taught. Entrepreneurship is an inspiration that comes from here for some people that want to solve a bigger problem. What do you mean entrepreneurship is something you're born with? I completely disagree with that statement. Fully disagree with that statement. If you want to do anything worthwhile in life, you've got to be hungry. And so I started working to develop myself. He said, I want you to practice every day being a disc jockey. I said, but I don't have any job now. He said, it doesn't matter. He said that it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. So every day I was working to develop myself. And that's what you must do. Entrepreneurship, it is a formula. If you hang around other people that think like this and you watch this video and you watch all of Valuetainment or some of the people that are feeding the right type of content to you and the right books you read, your imagination won't stop working. Because the entrepreneur is numbers, solving problems, how can I do it better, faster? Why can't you learn those skill sets? Why can't you? You can. So why not you? And don't let anybody convince you that people who solve some big problems and you know, are big thinkers, they have to be born be, being big thing. I'm here to tell you, you can figure out the formula to thinking bigger. Greatness is not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe and I'm willing to die for it.
I feel so strongly that the reason I'm here is I dream big dreams. I dream the kind of dreams that other people said would not be possible. I'm also living proof. This isn't a Hollywood movie. I come literally from the other side of the tracks. If you saw where I grew up, and we took a picture of it, the neighborhood, the setting, you say it's not, it's impossible that someone could come from there and get here. You can do anything. But there will be people along the way who will say to you, you know, you're dreaming too big. It's not possible. Those things just can't happen. Don't allow anyone, friend, family, acquaintance, teachers, whoever it is, don't allow anyone to tell you that what you are dreaming for yourself and your family is not possible. It is possible. Don't be one of those people 20 years from now are going to be walking around in a 9 to 5 job miserable and angry and bitter because you let your dreams get away from you because you did not believe stronger enough in yourself and what was possible. Don't allow that to happen. This is an unbelievable time. And I, I can't encourage you enough to continue to think that things are possible and that your dreams can come true. At least I feel like I failed when I didn't put everything I had into, into a problem. So really, it goes back to the analogy I made at the beginning, is if you don't put it all out there, if you don't put everything you got into solving the problem, then that's failure. So you have to learn from the mistakes that you make, and you've got to create an environment where people are not afraid uh, to take a risk and not afraid to do things that are beyond uh, what the expectations are. Fear is the disease, um, hustle is the antidote. You can't count on sales, you can't count on anything but just crazy hustle and just grit your teeth claw your way to success. There was just no easy way to do it. Uh, in order to be this disruptive to what's going on, you have to have, you have to be willing to, to fight. Uh, and you have to not be, you, you can't be shy. Never stop until you're the best. Like, I don't believe in doing anything halfway. I believe in going all the way. never stop.